Five at 555, the top five transfer quarterbacks. Try to do this as fast as I can. Yeah, because tonight it, it was changing an hour. It'll change. Well, and yeah, and you know that, you know, Drew Pine, like I sent the list off to Emory and Drew Pine came in and I had to think about where I'd put him on this list and he would be fourth, fifth or sixth. So I, you know, I decided to just kind of leave it as is, you know, Emory and I did talk about it before the show because I actually did, um, you know, uh, cross, cross up my Malik's. Uh, so to speak. But number five, Malik Hornsby from Arkansas. This guy is um, one heck of an athlete. I don't know if his future is totally a quarterback, but he is fast, 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 and we'll see. And so my prediction on him, I said it to Garrett earlier, this seems like a guy that Lane Kiffin would go get. You know, fast quarterback, can build a system for him. It's a running offense there that he's got. Uh, I know Jackson Dart is there, but you know, Lane could kind of sneak in there and be like, look, hey, you know, come in and you're a quarterback totally. And then all of a sudden, like, what if you just tried wide receiver for a minute or we'll build a package for you and all that stuff. But um, there's going to be a lot of people after Malik Hornsby because of his, of his athletic gifts, which are superb. Uh, yeah, what is the uh, – I just walked uh, – Top five by, transfer quarterbacks. Transfer, at, as of like now, because – overall transfer yeah, quarterbacks? At, yeah, as of you know, right in now. In an hour, it's going to change. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, he's got a lot of work to do, man. Yeah. Uh, he's got a lot of rough edges to polish. Uh, he's a superb athlete, like you said, but uh, definitely needs to work on the passing game some from what I saw. And, uh, yeah, dynamic dude um, uh, that I'm sure will have uh, plenty of suitors lining up. But, if, yeah, if you find him in the right offense, then he could be – Really dangerous for you. I don't know exactly about Lane Kiffin because of, like you said, Jackson Dart and just, uh, uh, you know, the plans that they have there. But, uh, yeah, Hornsby is going to be intriguing just because of just, you know, what a dynamic uh, player he can be. Yeah. Uh, and I, I also left Luke Altmeyer off this list, even though he was a highly recruited guy. We just haven't seen a whole lot of him except yeah. for the Sugar Bowl. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, number four, Chance Nolan. Uh, look, he had some injuries, but this guy's got a lot of yards passing in his career at Oregon State, and he's a veteran. So, if I'm him, like, the thing I'm looking for is a team that I don't have to – I can just kind of help be over the top and control things because he's got a lot of skins on the wall when it comes to stats, but – you know, he's had some injuries. His, you know, stats this year weren't that great. But I do think that this is a guy with senior leadership, somebody who's who's been through it uh, and can help a team that, that needs a quarterback if that's the missing piece to to maybe competing for a conference title. I, I would certainly take a chance on Chance. Yeah, I mean, as you said, he's played in a lot of games, uh, but uh, had a lot of neck injury or had a neck strain was one of the injuries that he was dealing with this year. So, um, you know, looking at th this year's stats, I'm not sure how appealing he's he's really going to be, even with the injuries included. Uh, not a very good year from him at all before Ben Gulbertson eventually took over. So uh, just a little bit of a, of a showing to, to base off this year. But he also, obviously, as you mentioned, played in uh, some games the prior couple of years. So there's enough tape on him to get a good idea of exactly what you're getting. But, yeah, not – not a sexy pick based on 2022 in, in any way, shape, or form. No, and that that's um, – he's the one I – like, I debated. I mean, the bottom of this list was really tough. And he, even with – especially with Drew Pine, sure. you know, jumping in, like, it, literally 40 minutes after I sent the email to, to Emory today through the graphics. Number three, Phil Yurkovic from Boston College. This is – this is someone I think in the right system is going to do really well if he can stay healthy. Now, he's had a couple of freak weird injuries. Uh, this year, I don't think you can look at his stats. The offensive line was absolutely shredded by injuries at Boston College this year. And they they got a couple of you know big wins. They got one win over Louisville that uh, you know everybody in Louisville thought was going to get the coach fired. But he, he rallied from that point on. But... I think Phil Yurkovic, if you're out there waiting for a quarterback, a guy who's tough, can do uh, some things. It's I wouldn't call him necessarily a dual threat, but he can he can move around a little bit, big arm. Yeah, I, I would I would certainly give him a call. Is he that prototypical Boston college He's a quarterback? Big, yeah, yeah, he looks – look, his name – like, what about him, his name, his build? Yeah, yeah. He looks like a Boston college quarterback, right? Yeah. Uh, but, you know, there, there are – I think there's a lot of places that fit him well. Yeah, and it's been bothering me for like an hour, uh, kind of like the Drew Pine thing where I felt the need to clarify, but I see Yurkovich, and I just, it's been bothering me. I did, you, normally you wouldn't call yourself out, but I feel like I need to because yeah. that, that's been bothering me. But, uh, yeah, he's a good player. I think he'll make a, a really good veteran, uh, you know, get for, uh, you know, any team out there in need of a quarterback. He's got experience in a couple of different systems, so – He's not somebody who's necessarily like a Malik Hornsby. It's like you've got to make sure that you don't have to pass the ball a lot with Malik Hornsby, yeah. at least right now, 
to have success. You're going to have to base around him and his running ability. But with your COVID, I, yeah, you can do a lot of different things with him. Got a lot of skins on the wall. Been around a long time, it feels like, at this point. So I think he'll definitely be uh, – you know, uh, a guy who's uh, highly sought after. Yeah. Number two, Brennan Armstrong from Virginia. Uh, again, I, I try not to base anything on this year, but this is a guy who uh, had racked up some stats and racked up some um, some good stuff going into, um, you know, this year. I thought Tony Elliott and he would work out, but I, I you just kind of understand with the way that the season went and the tragedy that happened there, uh, you know, wanted to finish out, at some place where maybe you can win a little bit more and can grow your town a little bit. So I like Brandon Armstrong. I, I think Brandon Armstrong uh, is one of those guys to, that Notre Dame really needs to take a look at. Although I've, uh, I've seen reports that Tyler Buckner is going to maybe play in the bowl game since Drew Pine won't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, somebody's got two, right? So, but yeah, yeah so, I think it is going to be Buckner. Yeah, so, uh, but I do think Notre Dame will, will look at him. I do think that this is uh, this would be a guy that Miami would be crazy not to look at. Uh, in their own conference, but uh, yeah, I think Brent Armstrong uh, can can help you win some games if if you are ready to go around him. Now, if you're not, if you're still kind of building, then I, I don't think it'd be a good match. So, um, is is are we all out on Tyler Van Dyke at this point in Miami? I am. I just you know I, he he played really really poorly. It doesn't look like he's a fit for that offense. Um, you know, and he they they were so not confident in their other quarterbacks. Uh, and look, the only game I watched them top to bottom this year was the FSU game, which was maybe by far their worst game, although maybe they might argue Middle Tennessee State because they that shouldn't even have been a, a thing. But uh, he got hurt in that game, and they trotted him back out for a series, and he couldn't throw the ball four yards in front of him. Yeah, it was a very bad follow-up year for him. Yeah, it, was just, it just didn't look good. He might need a fresh start. And look, he might get a fresh start somewhere. I you know, maybe you stay at Miami if you're him or not. But. Yeah, I mean, Miami's, fa you know, their fan base, and, and I'm sure Mario are going to want to, like, shake the, the branches a little bit and figure out what they can find that, that could be better. And I certainly think they can be, be pretty easily do that based on this year, like, in a lot of different areas, including a quarterback. I was just asking because that was a name that definitely at the beginning of the year you thought had some potential to, to have a good follow-up year. But, yeah, I mean, Brennan Armstrong's played, played a lot of football. Obviously a very tough year. Uh, just overall at Virginia, and especially the way that it all came to a, a conclusion. But, uh, yeah, a veteran dude, uh, seen a lot of snaps, a uh, pretty talented guy. I, I do think this year kind of muddies the water on just how good he is because it's like it was such a just a weird year, you know. Uh, I felt like he had a lot of um, – uh, momentum coming into this year though so uh, uh, yeah i'm sure he'll he'll get a few more than a few phone calls and, and will definitely be a desirable guy yeah and number one we talked him out of that length yesterday but i think hudson card uh is the guy i mean uh, you know he i know he hasn't played all that much but you know based on what we know of him and this might be just you know bias from the state of texas i just think he's probably the most ready to go in and help somebody uh, he had a big program too. Even I think when. that for me, uh, he's intriguing because he's shown a little bit of something uh, in various areas, but I've also not seen as much of him as I've seen of all a lot of the other, or not so much a Hornsby per se, but yeah. like definitely compared to the more veteran guys who like started entire years or played like multiple years of starters. Um, we haven't seen that out of Hudson Card just yet, so I think there's some of that. Like we've seen glimpses, and he's just maybe scratching the surface, and you like and are excited about what he could he could do. But yeah, I think he's a, a highly um, you know uh, heralded guy for a reason coming out of uh, Texas, and uh, based on what we've seen, you know, there's good reason to believe that he could be like that hot shot quarterback that really lights a, a team on fire next year. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm very intrigued by him. I'll just go over here just for. I've got the full list in front of me, just yeah. some of the names on here. So you got your Kovic, um, Chance Nolan you mentioned, uh, Padilla from Iowa, Pine uh, from Notre Dame, uh, Jeff Sins from Georgia Tech, and I'm skipping Ooh. over. I'm skipping over names but here. I, I'll tell you, I might kick myself on Jeff Sins, but I do think he's turned the ball. Can I too kick much. you? Yeah, you're good. I might, and I'm but, not doing this to say like yeah. point out. The, I'm just saying like I finally yeah. got a list to, uh, that I saw that has like all of the names on here. Davis Brin at Tulsa, I think, is going to be really interesting. Actually, two Tulsa quarterbacks because Braylon Braxton also went in, but Brin was like their their main guy when he when he was healthy. Altmeyer, you mentioned Bachmeyer from Boise State, obviously was not 
leaving with a whole lot of momentum, and they've they've found much better in Taylor Green now. Kyron Drones will be intriguing, but he hasn't played a lot, so he doesn't belong in this group of guys. But his measurables and and all of that will definitely be something that attracts some guys. Lane Hatcher from Texas State's played a good deal of football. So and and again, there's like 15 names I didn't mention that that uh you know we can get to at some point and, or and another but there's already 25 30 quarterbacks in the portal it's crazy and, and there's going to be an fcf stud down there that somebody's going to try and go get because yeah, it's, be a cam oh, warden. Yeah. yeah there'll be a cam yeah, warden there, there'll so. be someone like that okay paul thank you very much we appreciate